everyone, it's Kate Kaltoff. Welcome to a Fab Friday. I'm just going to kind of hang out here for a few minutes, let a few people find me and join in on the conversation. I am going to share with you something that you get to order if you want to. I promise after this video you are really going to want to. Um, it's called the Eastern Palace Suite. And I have some samples to show you and I have some really fabulous ways that you can use the uh, thinlets that come with this product suite. And it's just so exciting because Stamping Up is letting customers order from the new catalog and they're putting together a couple of really awesome bundles. So this is the new catalog and it actually doesn't even go live until I think it's June 1st for customers. And so we get to order a few things in advance as demonstrators starting on May 2nd. So for those of you that are eh, kind of thinking about becoming a demonstrator, guess what? You can put these product bundles into your starter kit. And so that's the Eastern Palace product suite that we'll be talking about today. And I'm sure if you are kind of nosy and like knowing what's going on in the Stamping Up world, you've probably already seen some of these sneak peeks. And so now it's my turn to give you my little sneak peek. And so let's go ahead and get started. I am going to have to flip the camera around so that you can see um, everything that's going to be going on here. I've got just a wonderful selection of swaps. And that's what I'm going to start showing you are the swaps. So I'm going to bring the camera in. So let's start looking at these Eastern Palace swaps. I was in a private swap and these swaps just turned out so great. And I'll also be doing a card for you with the Eastern Palace Suite. So the first swap is this one. It's by Celine Kempton. And you can see that there's some really unique, fun, and exciting things. First of all, there's the stamp set that you can see being used here at the bottom to kind of make a decorative paper. And then there's a thinlet right here. And this thinlet is neat because it sort of has some movement to it. You can see that, that some of it is popped up. And then also there's a little um, sentiment right here and then a couple of jewels. It's a really neat card. And you may not know this, but if you are a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, we're pretty excited about this because we are getting a new color of our note cards and envelopes. This is very vanilla, and we have not had that before. We've only had the Whisper White before, or the Crumb Cake. And so now we'll be getting a nice sturdy note card in very vanilla, which is, which is really awesome. The next swap that I received in this product suite is, um, it's, well, it's by Rachel Tessman. And it also shows off some of the new designer paper that's coming out. And look at this foil. It's a specialty designer paper. You can see just how absolutely gorgeous it is. And then some more is layered up here. And then, this is super exciting. There's some stickers that are also part of this product suite. And so on the card that I'll be doing with you today, we'll be working with those stickers. And then again, here's a sentiment and a couple of the little pieces that come out of the stamp set. So, so very pretty. The next card in the private swap that I was in is by Don Olszewski. And this one is really neat because look at that sparkle. Well, maybe, I don't know. Sometimes sparkle picks up on the camera and sometimes it doesn't. I'll see if I can get the light just right. But she used Wink Estella on here. So again, this is the stamp set. Just stamped in a pattern to kind of make your own background, your own designer series paper. And then again, you can see this really neat die that has some layering to it. And then here's a really special tassel just so pretty and elegant and again you can see some stickers on here and then of course the sentiment was just punched out with one of our circle punches really really cute okay we're moving on the next card that i'm going to show you is from sharon burkhart and i love this card it uses some some products that aren't part of the product suite but that's okay because it's a sneak peek into our catalog so there's a little gem on here that's really cute and sparkly. And it's kind of in an old olive color, but it's a little bit of an ombre. And so very, very pretty. And so here's the ribbon um, that's also coming up in our new catalog. And again, it's not part of the product suite, but it will be coming up in the new catalog. And look at how pretty this is, the way this is layered and the way... Um, 
Sharon stamped this. She stamped some little circles coming through here and she stamped some little doodads on the edges to kind of bring it all in sort of like a kaleidoscope. Just love that. The next card that I'll show you again shows off this amazing, gorgeous, and opulent paper. This is um, so beautiful and it has, of course, the, the beautiful tassel with it. And you can see just, just a gorgeous card. I should see this card is by Barb Mulligan and I just love it. Absolutely beautiful. And the next card, this is by Meg Loven. And again, you can see that there's some, some cool action going on with these die cuts. And here, there was a bunch of die cuts just layered on this very vanilla panel, run through the Big Shot machine, and then layered with a fresh big panel behind it. A little bit of sparkle to kind of up the game. So pretty. And I could show you my card, but I'm going to wait a little bit because I want to... Um, save that because we're going to be making that card in a little bit. So what I want to do now is show you some of the items that you can get in this product suite. And one of the one of the biggies, and I don't have all of it on here because I have um, one of the pieces set up on the Big Shot machine, but this is our Eastern Medallion Thinlets. And I have to take the time to show you the amazing things you can do with the Thinlet pack. So I went ahead and I just started randomly playing with some of these thinlets. So I'm gonna hold this up. But this is one of them, just straight out, where you could use it as a panel on your card. Here's where you take a scissors and just snip out the edges. And then this one is where you not only snip out the edges, but you can also layer it up with some of these other circles. Isn't that gorgeous? Then let's look at the next one. And you're noticing probably some new colors too. This is Berry Burst. This is Powder Pink. And the card that I'm using that I created uses this particular die. So you didn't get to see that one right away. And then let me show it to you where you snip it out and layer one of those awesome vinyl gold stickers behind it looks really cool and then there's another gold sticker I put on top just to show you some of the decorating options and then check out this one isn't that cool oh my gosh that is just so much fun um, where you can take some of those other pieces and just layer it on the top and let me just show you that die set again when you first see it you just you kind of look at it and like well I don't know is this really gonna have that much that I can do with it I think you're going to be surprised when you start playing with it so let's continue on. There's some more little pieces here that can be used. Um, honestly, I'll probably lose these before I use them, but they're, they're made to cut out those little tiny stamps that come in the stamp set. Again, that's probably not something I'll use a lot because it looks a little fussy. But then we've got these over here, and let me show you how gorgeous this is. So here's one where it's just cut out with the paper. And then here is one where we take the frame and cut out the frame. Here is where we have the little piece of paper that was here and I snipped it. And so you can see what that looks like and then just layered a sticker over the top of it. And then here is one where I, I cut it out like this and then I put the frame over the top and then you have something that looks like this. Add a little sticker and look how cute that is. And then here's one where I added a little circle cut out to it. So you can see the multiple ways that you can use this. And if you're looking at that color and going, what color is that? That's our new Lemon Lime Twist, which is also coming up soon. Um, let me show you another panel of paper that I did because there's more in this package. So what I did here is I just I just took some fresh fig, a new in color, cut it out, and you can see I just glued it to the top. Because you could, you could use this, put a little sticker in here, and it would be a cute panel on your card. Or you can snip out the flower like this one. There's also a frame that matches it so that you can cut it out with the frame and have the little flower. And then add a sticker, and it's just so darling. Then over here we have some circle cutouts. And so you can... Again, you can leave this just on a panel, or you can take your one and a quarter inch circle punch and punch it out. 
Or if you like to fussy cut, which I don't, it was all I could do just to do this, but you could fussy cut some of these cute little pieces out of here. Here's another little circle, um, another little circle piece that comes in this set. And then here it is cut out with the 1 4th inch circle punch. And then here it is kind of fussy cut. Again, that's probably not something I would do, but I wanted to include it because I know there's some of you out there that enjoy doing that. And here we go again. Here's another, I mean, this, this, uh, this die set is just endless. I mean, there's just so much you can do. So here's another shape. It's a, it's a circle shape, a little bit bigger. And again, it has a coordinating sticker that can go with it. Here it is cut out with the two inch circle punch. And here it is. Here's a different one that's just cut out straight and then the two inch circle punch right here added a sticker to it. So you can see how much fun it is to add these stickers. And the stickers are really, really high quality. I'm gonna hold this up to the light. You can see just how beautifully they adhere to the paper. There's really no show. You really can hardly, I mean, you know it's a sticker, but it doesn't look like a cheap sticker. It looks like a really elegant, nice sticker. So I'm very excited to use these stickers with the stamp set. Okay, I'm going to set that aside, well actually not too long, because I want to show you, I cut out just some little pieces. I think when you get this um, die cut set, you want to just start cutting out all kinds of little pieces so you can start playing. And then I'm going to give you a tip about the stickers. Um, so let me bring in this stickers. I want to show you this. I have it on a piece of black just so you can kind of see it. This is what the package looks like. You'll get two packages of the round series and then you'll get two packages of these flower shapes and then the borders. And I want to show you something. I put this onto an acrylic sheet. This is one of our Stampin' Up! window sheets and if you flip it over, if you actually put the sticker onto an acrylic sheet, you can see that it turns silver. I saw this idea from Janet Wakeland and I was just like, what? Are you kidding me? How fun is that? So let me show you what that looks like because what's fun is so many of these stickers actually have coordinating die cuts in this um, product suite. So here's a sticker that is, this is the front of the sticker attached to a window sheet. And then that's, it's gold, because the stickers are gold. And then I cut it out with one of the coordinating framelits. I f and then you can flip it over, and just like that, it's, it's silver. And you could attach it with a mini glue dot, and then you have a silver element on your card. Is that pretty cool or what? I thought that was pretty neat. So now let me show you some of the cool things you can do. So let's say that you have a whole bunch of these just sitting around. So like I said, just, just keep these pieces. So then you can start playing with how you wanna layer them. So look at that, you can just start, you know, kind of fiddling around and seeing how you wanna put these onto your cards, which is just so fun. So let's look, let's move this up a little bit. And look at that, you could put this one here, or you could do this one here, look how pretty that is and do this one here. I mean, it really, the, the possibilities start getting pretty limitless um, once you start playing with these a little bit. It's just so much fun. So I will um, set this aside because I know you're anxious to see what it is you can order on Monday. I've already had customers emailing me and asking me, now what exactly is included in these bundles and how do we know what we're going to need and is Stampin' Up! going to make it easy? And of course Stampin' Up! is going to make it easy. So let me get the first bundle out. This is the starter bundle. So let me show you what comes with the starter bundle. The first thing, of course, is the stamp set. So this is the stamp set that's in the starter bundle, and the starter bundle is going to be $60.50. So you will get the stamp set, you will get these awesome gold vinyl stickers, you will get three new in-color stamp pads. I know, do I hear some dancing in the streets? I'm so excited. 
So you'll get the Tranquil Tide, the Fresh Fig, and the Lemon Lime Twist. And then you will also get this 12 by 12 paper pack of the awesome specialty designer pa series paper that goes with this pack. And I do have it opened up here so that you can see sort of what it looks like. So this is um, all inspired by Peacock. So here's the front page. And that's one of the specialty pieces, it's foil. And you can just kind of flip through and see some of these awesome papers on the inside. And of course you're going to have the stamp pads that match these papers. And then this one here, which I loved. In fact, my card uses this paper right here, which you'll see in a little bit. So that's another specialty paper. All right, so now that is, um, there is one little special thing that you also get when you get this starter bundle, which is $60.50, you also get a package of the new Berry Vanilla note cards and envelopes. So you'll be able to start making cards immediately, and that is going to be free. That is not free from me, that is free from Stampin' Up. From me, you'll get a happy stamper token, but from Stampin' Up, you'll actually get some free product, which is really cool. Okay, so now, are you ready to see what's in the Premier Bundle? The Premier Bundle includes everything in the Starter Bundle, including your free package of, um, of your note cards, but it also includes, let me grab it, it also includes your Thinlets dies, so you'll get your set of 14 Eastern Medallion Thinlets, you will get an entire cardstock pack. This is Tranquil Tide and Fresh Fig and Dapper Denim. And it's the cardstock pack that matches the 12 by 12 designer series paper. You will also get in the Premier Bundle, you'll also get these really cute um, tassels that coordinate with the cardstock. And you will get another free item. You will get an eight and a half by eleven. Um, ser how do you say it? A set of eight and a half by eleven thick, very vanilla cardstock. This is also a new item coming up in our catalog. Right now, we only have thick Whisper White, and now Stamping Up is adding the thick, very vanilla, and that will be a freebie in the Premier Bundle. So let me bring out the information in these bundles so that you can take a screenshot or whatever you want to do. But the Eastern Palace Starter Bundle will be uh, item number 147196. It'll be $60.50 with the free um, envelopes and note cards. And then the Premier Bundle is number 147207. It's 10350. So you'll get two happy, happy stamper tokens with that one. And then you will also get 13 free. So you will get the envelopes and the note cards. And you will also get an entire package of our thick, very vanilla paper. So it's so exciting. All right, now let me set this aside. And are you ready to see the card we're going to make today? Of course you are. Here it is. This is the card we're making today. And I did use the note cards and envelopes because I just wanted to show you how um, awesome they are to make thank you cards. And you can see I use the stickers and I use that cute little kind of floral die that has the petals that pop up. And then I use some stickers and I use that new awesome paper. And I also decorated the inside so it has a little bit of an Eastern look on the inside as well. And I wanted to use the whole length of the sticker so I just added my little extra piece in here which I think looks pretty cute. So let's go ahead and get started and we'll make this card. So as I mentioned, we are going to start with the note card and envelope. Now I could decorate this envelope, but I'm always worried about this video going longer and I should have done it in advance, but I didn't. So I'm just going to set it aside and we're going to work with our note card. So I'm just going to fold it. It's already pre-scored for you. So you just have to fold it, use a bone folder and make that work so that you can, you know, it lies a little bit flatter for you. Then we're going to go ahead and we're going to take one of those pieces from the Designer Series Paper Pack. It's one and one fourth by three and three eighths. And we are going to just go ahead 
and add a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue to the back of it. We're going to set this right here on the left side of our card. So it looks just like this. And then we have this little piece that's going to go on the inside. This is three fourths by three and three eighths. And this is going to just be put on the inside panel. So we'll go ahead and just put a little bit of multi-purpose liquid glue on there and set this in on the right hand side. Now what I did is I took, I took one of these vinyl stickers and before we went on, before I went live here, I just held up my, my little scrap that I put on the front of the card. I just held it right up to where I was working and I just cut up so that I would know exactly how long I needed to make my sticker. And so I've already done that. So I'm just going to pull this off and we are going to set this in so that it's flush next to this piece right here. And once it looks like it's fairly well lined up, we'll just press that into place. And then we're going to do the same thing on the inside panel with this little bit of extra. So I'm just gonna pull that away and we're going to set this in right here, just sort of in the center and just kind of flush it right up. There we go. Now we're going to take some dapper denim ink I am going to ink this, and you know what? I noticed when Sarah was working on her videos, I noticed she was not using a Stampin' Pad. And then she said, oops, I guess that messed up a little bit. But I think it won't mess up as much as if you remember to use your pad. Because you'll always get a little bit better impression with your stamps if you use a Stampin' Pad. So we're just taking this little tiny cute... I don't know, a little florist kind of thing. And we're just stamping all four corners on the inside. And our inside panel is done. So you've got just a little bit of room here to write a nice thank you note. All right, and now let's go ahead and finish the outside panel. So we need to do our big medallion. I know that's what everyone's impatiently waiting for. So I have just a piece of scrap, very vanilla. And the first thing I'm going to do is I want to get my my medallion stamped. I want the center of the medallion stamped before I do anything with the Big Shot machine or anything else. So again, I have the dapper denim ink. I have my little thank you. And I'm just gonna stamp this right here in the middle. Then, let me set this aside. Of course, I did work ahead, so you wouldn't have to watch me do all of this, but this is pretty easy. So then what I did is I have my my magnetic plate first. I should flip this around so it makes sense. Okay, so I started with the magnetic plate. Then these dies coordinate with our circle framelits. So our layering circle framelits will coordinate with these dies beautifully. So what I did is I took the largest scallop framelit, and I and this this is the scallop circle framelit, and I put it with a piece of scrap dapper denim and then this is very vanilla cardstock and I took the largest straight circle framelit and then I used the Eastern um, Palace product suite thinlet the little flower one and I just centered that in so that my thank you was in the very middle and then I actually you can do your cuts at the same time so I layered those two dies together put put my cut plate over the top and ran it through the Big Shot machine. And then this is what you're going to get. So you're going to get a piece here. And then of course, this piece here. And so it is so cool. Now, let me go ahead and show you how you want to um, get these little petals to stick up because I think it looks really cool if the petals sort of are loose and flowing. So you want to start with your thumb here at the edge where the curve of the circle is, and you're just going to um, press up towards that thumb, and then you just bring your thumb around. So that's all I'm doing is I start with my thumb on the left side, and then I just kind of press it up and move my thumb over. So I'm going to do this all the way around. 
And then you're going to see, I mean, this looks pretty good, but you're going to see just how much better this is going to look once we add one of those vinyl stickers. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just putting a little tiny bit of multi-purpose liquid glue on the back. Normally I would use snail, but I used it very lightly because I want the wiggle room so that I can make sure that I get this, this thinlet exactly centered because this is a very skinny little border. It probably doesn't show up as well here. I have a new Stampin' Mat. Do you love it? I do too. So anyway, it'll show up really nice though when we put it over here, as you can see. So now we can go ahead and we'll just add a little multi-purpose liquid glue again to the back. We're gonna set this right here. Make sure it's nice and even. I think that looks pretty good. Okay, so pretty cool so far, but let's just bring this up a step and add some stickers. Okay, so what I wanna do is we are going to use this sticker right here. So we want this scallop. So I use, I use the center part already on a different card. So now I'm just going to take this scallop piece and we're gonna pull that away. And that is what we want to set into our card. And actually, this is something that I need to show you. I'm not sure if it's gonna show up. Let me, let me pull in this pad, because this is a mistake I made the very first time that I was working with these stickers. I thought, oh look, there's sort of like a scallop edging in here. But actually, when you're putting this on your card, that scallop edging is, is actually waste. So you want to remove that and make sure that you don't use that. You want a nice clean edge on your sticker when you put it on your card. All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to very carefully layer this so that the thank you is pretty much centered. We're going to drop the sticker right like that. And it's perfect. So there, doesn't that just add so much? Just love it. All right, so that is, I think that's, I think that completes. Here's the original. Here's the one I just did. And that completes my two cards today. Thank you so much for joining me. I truly appreciate you. For those of you that are interested in placing a product order with me, Next week on Monday, I'm going to put this out here so that you can see this one more time. Thank you so much again for joining me on Facebook Live. This is always, you know, I'm, I'm not always the greatest at doing this stuff, but you guys are always so supportive. So thank you so much. Have a great, great weekend, everyone. Bye-bye.